Revelation 2364, from the 10th of June 1942. Mediation of the Divine Word Act of Mercy God's extraordinary activity of conveying His Word to people testifies to His infinite love for His living creations, for it is an act of utmost mercy, since humanity is already in a state which excludes the direct attention of His Word. As soon as people live according to His will and are thus turned towards God they are also able to hear His Word, for this is the prerequisite for receiving the Divine Word that the human being consciously hands himself over to him. However, humanity is currently so far from God that it would never be able to hear God's voice. The distance from it to God is so great that such a connection can no longer be established which requires the ability to hear the divine word. The spiritual state has sunk so extraordinarily low that it would exclude such extraordinary activity if God's love did not want to take pity on humanity in order to bring it the final help. And for this he uses a mediator whose will is turned towards him and who likewise wants to help his fellow human beings. For the will turned towards God also gives him the realization of his fellow human beings spiritual adversity. And thus God obviously works and forcefully demonstrates to humanity what adversity awaits it if it does not change and strives to come closer to him. For his love for his living creations is boundless. He tries to bring them salvation, he tries to clearly and comprehensibly reproach them with their purpose of earthly life and to instruct them to shun the sham of worldly life and to acquire the true light of the soul as long as they dwell on earth and thus he gives them his word against their will and therefore also has to leave people as much freedom of choice as possible to reject it, which is why the word has to be offered in a form which does not let the acceptance of it become compulsion. Otherwise, his greater than great love would send the word to every individual person in order to save his soul, yet this is impossible due to the human being's freedom of will otherwise God would overturn his own laws and act against himself. However, a person's love can build a bridge from humanity to God, and every person is free to enter this bridge and familiarize himself with the divine word. And on this bridge God himself descends to earth and reveals himself to humanity, that is he gives it knowledge of himself, his reign and activity and the destiny of every individual person, its beginning and its goal. And the knowledge of this is such an incomprehensible grace, for it makes it unspeakably easier for the human being to work on himself, which he should nevertheless tackle of his own accord if he wants to become perfect and enter the kingdom of peace. Divine love descends itself and seeks to bring itself closer to humanity, it comes to meet it although it has already decided in favor of God's adversary through its desire for the world and its goods and thereby makes itself unworthy of God's love. Yet his love never ceases and remains eternally turned towards that which emerged from him. Amen.